Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to take a deeper look at the uh, submarine. In this series, we are talking about different units, one video per unit. And today, we're going to talk about the submarine. I have one here in front of me. Let's click it up and have a look. So the speed is 30. Remember that hit points is 100. Good to know also. The description, it's a stealth unit, uh, it's anti-naval, meaning you are invisible for your enemy and you can go anywhere and ha still have a look. You have visibility over your enemy troop movements, but they cannot see you. And it's also good to attack other naval units. You see down here, attack versus naval is 40. And we count everything on water as naval. So look at this by the way i have 12 infantry here they are put in a transport ship so they are naval so the damage against these if it would have been another player would be 40. and the the transport ship the infantry dispense themselves with one so one uh, submarine is worth about 40 infantry on the water which is, of course, very, very effectful if you want to take out lots of infantry. And let's check other naval units. <clears throat> let's click this up here. Click on naval. The light cruiser has a naval of 10. Attack and defense, 10. And the submarine had 40. But the submarine had 100 hit points and the cruiser had 50 hit points. So four cruisers would have double amount of hit points compared to a submarine. So therefore, you cannot really take out four uh, cruisers with one sub. Maybe three. Two for sure. One submarine against two cruisers, you always kill it. And the same goes with battleship, but just another way around. Battleship have 200 have the same naval attack and defense as the submarine, but double the double the hit points. So you should take the other way around. Two submarines take out one battleship. One submarine take out two cruisers. Good memory rule there. Battleship has the speed of 30, exactly as the submarine. So if you're hunting a battleship, make sure you cut some corners somewhere or uh, Otherwise, you can't catch it, but maybe it stops somewhere and you can meet it head on. That's what I would like to recommend anyway. So let's go down here. So we saw the light cruiser has a speed of 67 and the submarine has 30. So you cannot really catch a light cruiser. But on the other hand, the enemy can't see you. So they don't know you have the submarine there. And that's the biggest uh, positive thing about the submarine i would say it's the psychological values of it if you show if you take out one unit on the water from your enemy then automatically he should be scared because then you know there are submarines somewhere in the water and he cannot see them so it will really really limit his uh, choices and uh, his game he has to be careful everywhere so even with just one submarine your enemy needs to be careful all over the sea. So that is a very good psychological effect, which is uh, not to be underestimated in this game, actually. And as I said, it's invisible. This means even if it's stacked with other units on the sea, this submarine is invisible. If I would put these uh, 12 guys together with my sub, only the 12 guys will be shown, not the submarine. It's always invisible. Unless there is a enemy fighter patrolling over it. Only fighter, not bombers. Bombers cannot see a submarine. Only fighters can. And they have to patrol over it. So watch out for that. And once detected by a, a fighter, it's visible and can be attacked with all kinds of units. So be really careful to not go into a fighter's patrol area and 
submarine are very poor in defending against air. We can check it this again. Versus air, it's only one. So if you are detected and your enemy attacks you with, with airplanes, you're going to be dead right away. You have no chance, uh, even against a fighter. Uh, maybe not in the first hit, but uh, it will it will die. Uh, so I would recommend to use the submarines for scouting. Uh, check out what the enemy are doing. Uh, smaller attacks on uh, infantry and cruisers. Stack them up, your submarines that is, uh, to make bigger attacks. But also use them to protect your own naval units. If you have a battleship going uh, to attack, make sure you have two, three, four submarines under it. Because that will protect it, your, your battleship against other submarines. This is very important. And as I show you, they have the same speed. So it doesn't really affect the speed. Uh, it affects the speed if a cruiser joins up with a submarine because it all stacks uh, have the speed of the slowest unit. So that is also something you can tell. If your enemy has a cruiser that's moving really slow, it looks very, diff very, very suspicious, I would say. Then you know there's a submarine or at least one under it. That's a sign you can say that it's a submarine under. Good to know also. Uh, I think that is uh, about everything I can tell you about the submarine right now. I love it myself. I really pump out lots of submarines in the waters and scare the shit out of my enemies. And that's what this game is all about, isn't it? I think so anyway. So that's the report about the submarine. I hope I covered everything and uh, I'll be back with new videos on other units. Cheers for now. Bye.